I thought I'd just bring you into the garden now before uh, it starts to rain again. Look at the black skies there. That's usually where the uh, our rain comes from. And uh, I'll just take you around. At times it's quite bright, as you can see now. I have to be careful because I'm going to have you, have you have myself in the shadow. Well, here's the pond area. And already, look at that, with Storm Aileen, it's filled the pond up. My husband's already been out here and uh, started to cut things back because autumn's come upon us very quickly here in England. And before we know where we are, it'll be too cold to come out here. We've still got uh, nasturtiums in bloom and this verbena. So it's still quite nice to uh, to come out in the garden when you know when the sun's out. And it's still warm. The, the sun's still got some warmth. There's the, one of the aces. Now I'm going to be stood. Am I stood in the shadow? That's one of the aces starting to turn now. And. Uh, these are one of the these are the sedums. I love sedums for the for the autumn. The rhododendron there, don't know whether you can see that. That's already set its buds for next spring. That's the uh, it's come out of the shadow. That's the little one pound azalea I got, which I potted up. And this is the bench usually that the uh, Cymbidiums are on, but it's uh, it's too windy at the moment. That's the other acer. They're all showing signs. See the sweet peas, which were climbing on this frame here. They've dropped over with the wind. So I'll just climb over them and hope I don't break my neck. The wind's getting up now. I might have to rush in. The nights are already drawing in. I hate the dark nights because uh, here in England, when the when the clocks go back and it gets into December, of course, it's dark when you get up in the morning, eight o'clock, and it's dark at four o'clock in the afternoon. This is the, uh, I'm on the gravel so it's making a noise. This is uh, a standard viburnum which comes out and they have lovely great big white pom-poms which are beautiful in the spring. See that one? That's already set the winter, the autumn colours ready for the winter. Um, if I take you around this way back again, um, we've moved this when we, uh, my husband did the garden last year. Uh, and this is called, well, I don't know what the botanical name is, but it's it's called an, um, um, a wedding cake tree. And it, and it forms in rings, you know, like a wedding cake does. And that's really taken off this year. It likes its new spot. That there, it's got spring bulbs in, but of course the cats just think, oh well, that's a latrine. Mm. So I've had to put something on the top to stop them scratching up the soil. These are a few of the little nasturtiums that I did from seed. These, um, yeah, these are, these are the same. I think the other side are the uh, Sweet Williams I've put in. There's another one. They love the little things, these, but of course they won't last long. Not with the, uh, not with the change of the seasons. Yes, it's just starting to rain again, folks. But I'll just quickly, if I can, scoot round before. Uh, these are the uh, sweet Williams. That bed's full of daffodils. Different. Uh, different stages they'll come out in the spring. Here we go. 
there's the sedum. You'll have to excuse the traffic in the background because uh, this time in the afternoon, of course, people are bringing in the children from school and we've got a school just a few hundred yards from us. And uh, seeing these big white daisies are still holding their own. And if I just go this way. So I'm stood under the archway here and uh, I don't know whether you can see the rain but it is definitely raining and it's lovely and warm. Let me just see if I can sneak round here and not get too wet. There's the Japanese uh, anemones. Now that's the ginger lily but of course now we've uh, we're having colder nights and uh, and it's a lot wetter, that's going over very quickly. So I'm backing up now and my husband's cut everything down. He's cut the roses, the standard roses down here. Let's just take you over here and then I must um, I must go in then out of the rain. Ooh, now look at that there. Can you see it? Ooh, that's a great big spider. And this standard rose here, it's connected all the way across to this uh, little standard lilac. Oh my goodness, I'm going to pull it down. It's got something in its web. And the ray. The heavens are absolutely opening now, so I'm not going to stand out here. I'll stand under. Let me stand under here. Whew. I can feel the rain. There we go. We're under the elder now. Oh goodness, I've got to get round the back. Oh gosh. Oh, listen at that lot. I think I'm going to hold off for a minute or two. She just have to stay here in the garden. So I managed to run around the side garden. Oh, I'm absolutely wet through. And the wind's getting up. But never mind. Having a winter gives us all a rest from doing all the gardening. So, uh, thanks for joining me this afternoon and enjoy your orchids, enjoy your gardens, and uh, we'll speak again soon. Bye bye now.